Connor, uh, thank you. I, I loved it. We're doing a, an interview, as usual. Um, summer interview. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a bit different this year. Let's, let's just, as it was last year. As it was last year. Because I'm not at school. You're not, not at school. Connor, Connor went, to, went back to school today for the yeah. first time in six months yeah. but you're not back to school yet but you are going back to school yes yes i am in september wait actually yeah you know what i think what we did last year is what we're going to do is actually have the camera like this to one side so that you're yeah that's it. yeah that's it. You, know, like, you can still refer to the audience the autofocus is doing pretty good. Autofocus is working well. Oh. oh, just a little bit too close. Say a thing, and you've got a minute, around a minute, roughly, to talk about it. I have no idea what this is going to be. Bramble Sunday. Oh, <laughs> yes! Uh, last, uh, so 2023, we had Bramble Sunday. We went around collecting all the brambles. Yeah, and, and we washed all the... Yeah, bramble out of the brambles, right? Yes. And we also had apples that we got from school and stuff. Bramble crumble. And also, Bramble Sunday also happens on the first Sunday of February. Come on, old Bramble crumble. Right. I mean, Come I bramble mean crumble. Come on, old Bramble 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 crumble. Okay. Right. Ben, Re ben. Revenge of the Bees 3. Ben, yes, ben, we made ben. that at the beginning of 2024. Connor, Connor, Revenge of the Beast 3. Bees are evil mm. and they want to kill people. Probably because Poe is Donald Trump and wants to get rid of them. Yeah. Connor wrote the plot. plot I don't plot, remember plot, plot scripts. <laughs> what even happened. They fought a bear? Yep, a uh, bear. Bear. There was new new too, it's, but good this time. Yeah, actually. I voiced the characters. I wish I had never done that. What is it? Because wow, I sucked at that Just job. Just in case you don't remember, in twenty fifty, what's Revenge of the Bees? Revenge of the Bees is the um, f short film that me and Connor made together on the, Puppet Pals the, the app. Revenge of the Bees is one of the dumbest films ever. It has a it uses it has Teletubbies and and also a whole bunch of other characters that pretty much only I get. It was even gonna have Spooky Spoon there, but we had to cut Spooky Spoon. We couldn't afford her. Yeah, she was too stupid and yeah, couldn't afford her. <laughs> okay. That would make no sense either. Babbit today. Storm Babette. Babette Day. Yeah. Yes. So we went to Crail in the autumn and we were going to stay 
at St Andrews for a night as well, except we couldn't because there was a storm, Storm Babette, and so we had to leave early, which was sad. But um, we did have Babette Day when the storm was actually here, and we had a nice dinner. Wasn't that also when we watched Chariots of Fire? Am I might have forgetting. Might have been. I don't know. Rugby World Cup. Yes, there was the Rugby World Cup. That's also why we watched Invictus. Where was it again? France. France. Oh, so was the Olympics. Oh, yeah. We watched the first match outside. In the summer, and we watched the last match inside, in the winter. Okay, that's the next one. Yeah. Um, by generation. Doctor Who. Uh, okay, uh... Somebody split in half? <laughs> yeah, when the, the doctor split into, in half. Into, into David Tennant turned into David Tennant and Shooty Gatwa. The London Marathon. Yes! Mum, Mum ran. Mum ran. Oh, 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 ran a marathon. She went very far around London and there's a medal she got. Unfortunately. Yeah. She, she didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't win. No, sadly. Things can only get wetter. Oh yeah! That's sort of an important thing that we haven't mentioned yet. Okay. The general election on the 4th of July. So, yeah. Um, the Tories are gone! Yeah, so basically on the day when Rishi Sunak announced the snap election, um, it was raining, and he had no umbrella. <laughs> and someone was playing. Things can only get better. In the background, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. Um, Do you want to Doc Brown. Oh. Uh, Yes, so, at never heard anything. RCS, um, I was doing the acting and filmmaking course, and um, for my scene I was playing Doc Brown in the scene in Back to the Future where Marty meets past Doc for the first time, and he's like, I'm from the future, and Doc is like, no, you're not. That is that scene, and that was very fun. The Snow Queen. It, it's not the Snow Queen, it's the Evil Queen. So the, ev the Evil Queen. <laughs> in Snow, Snow White. White. Snow That's the be the character. Yes, so in Go. the Panto at Musical Theatre this year, we were doing Snow White, Go and on, I was be playing... Go character. I was playing Evelyn. Go on, the Evil Queen. Be the character. No, we're not like now. Yeah, you would look stupid. <laughs> Thanks. Um... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, Scotland at the Euros. Yes, the Euros were this summer. Scotland didn't do well. Uh, we didn't make past the 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 thingy. What's it called? Group stage. Yeah, we didn't make make it past the group stage again. You hear what? that, Mum? We're talking about the Euros. <laughs> Claire Yes! So, um, around Christmas this year I started learning Claire de Lune. It has been eight months and I have nearly perfected it so I can perform it in this year's showcase. Back which is next week. The piano's not on. Bonnie and Clyde. Yes! So, um... Okay. So, this summer I did a two-week summer course at RCS to do the musical theatre live production of Bonnie and Clyde and um, this, is, this doesn't usually happen but we had the unique opportunity to perform in a new Athene, Athene, Athenium theatre in the Ath and it was oh my god it was so cool and it was over my birthday I was there on my birthday and don't stand on that please Connor and it was oh my god Everyone else there was so cool and 
and amazing and and I oh my god it was such an amazing experience so I was playing Buck um, who's Clyde's brother and it was so fun but also it was ensemble so we were a rotating cast I was one of three people playing Buck so like in one scene I was playing Buck and another one a different person was and this like that and it was oh my god I loved it it was amazing okay. paranormal activity yes we went to go see um, the stage adaptation of paranormal activity um, because all he got us tickets How again because it's in it? Leeds it's in Leeds and yes Oh my god, I was uh, swearing like a sailor and clinging to mum the entire second act. I was terrified out of my mind. <whistles> like that, yeah. I, I, why do I keep doing the most high pitched screeches ever? I don't uh, even know how it's going to sound. I'll probably just ruin the entire video. The interview. Um, you never heard anything. I can do really, really low pitched screeching if you want. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <coughs> okay, last one. Calagaldana. What? What? Cal Menorca. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> We went to Menorca. That actually reminds me of another thing that well, I don't know, you but I'll mention it afterwards. <laughs> yes, so we went to Menorca right after my after I finished my exams, um, and yes, we it was just me and Dad, and we stayed in an apartment with an absolutely amazing view, and there was a pool, and we went to the beach a lot, and it was really cool and really hot, and I loved it. Okay, general interests round. What mm -hmm. you're into. You've got one minute. For each. Or, or no, actually, a less, just a less than a minute. 30 seconds max. Okay, right. For each. <clears throat> okay. Are you ready? Yes. It's quick fire. Horror fiction podcasts. Okay, so all of last year, in the latter half, I was, uh, 2023, I was really into horror fiction podcasts. Started with. Um, the Magnus Archives, then went into Malevolent and Welcome to Night Vale, well, although Welcome to Night Vale was basically there the whole time. Um, all of them varying degrees of subgenre. Um, all of them was completely obsessed with and despite the fact that I really liked them, barely listened to them because I was too scared and so I just read the fanfiction instead. Um, it's like, go for it, go for it. explain it for Connor. Okay, so basically it's like listening to the radio show of this town called Night Vale, uh, but Night Vale itself is in a desert in the middle of a nondescript part of America that is haunted by eldritch, horrifying Lovecraftian entities, but they're just a part of normal everyday life. Okay. Next interest, Loki. Okay, so Loki season two came out last on twenty twenty three. Yeah. Okay. So I. Oh my god. Um. I. I cried. Uh. Yeah, that's all we need to say about it. <laughs> I so, cried. That's my review. You cried. I didn't know you cared so much. <laughs> Well, okay, yeah, so Loki gets stuck in the time tree because he sacrificed himself for his friends, bringing his character a full circle, and oh god, no, it can't, not even circles, I just, I, oh god, okay, that's my review. Starkid. Okay, so Starkid is, uh, like, they they make musicals that they put on YouTube to, for everyone to watch for free. Specifically, I was into their Hatchetfield trilogy. I watched The Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals, which is a diegetic musical where it's like um, a zombie apocalypse, except the zombification is people singing and acting like they're in a musical. It's 
way scarier than it sounds. Um, there's also the other two which are also really good and um, it's very funny as well. Cool. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yeah, so I picked up the book on a whim at around uh, New Year and I finished it in two days, which is my new record. Um, two days! Two days, yes! Two. Um, and then I listened to the radio show and then all of the subsequent radio shows and it's really funny and I really like it. Basically, Arthur Dent is the last surviving member of humanity because Earth got blown up to make room for a space superhighway and so he is now a space spaceship hiker. <laughs> space. <laughs> what? A space hitchhiker. <laughs> Along with his best friend, who is an alien. Okay, good. Uh, Jeeves and Worcester. Cut all that out. <laughs> Jeeves in Worcester. I started watching Jeeves in Worcester. So, um, Stephen Fry and Hugh Laurie star as um, a bumbling uh, upper class British man in the 1930s? No, I, yeah. And his um, valet, who it controls everything and is really smart all the time. And uh, hijinks and shenanigans. Only yeah. available on DVD. Only available on DVD, and we have and the DVD. And you got the a copy. CDD. Was it on sale anywhere? Okay. Uh, now, next one. Um, Life series. Okay, so that is a series on Minecraft. Life. Where the game. it's like. Minecraft YouTubers like Green and Mumbo Jumbo and like experience life. Yes, they are on a Minecraft world and they all have three lives. And the first two you're fine, but once you're on your last life, you become you aggressive live, and hostile and have to try live, kill everyone. It's really cool, times. and it happened a bunch of times. And the other times there were other gimmicks, like uh, I, I'm not explaining all of those right now. But it's really cool and very funny. Uh, next one, Sanders Sides. Oh boy! Okay, so I discovered this in February. It is currently August, and it has not left. <laughs> it's the biggest, biggest. Yes. Interest of the year. Yes, very much. Um, it's so it's like it's created by Thomas Sanders, and it he's playing a semi-fictionalized version of himself, and it's, it's sort of like Inside Out, except. He's able to talk to the emotions, and also they're not emotions, they are aspects of himself. Like, for example, morality, logic, creativity, anxiety, and they um, have dilemmas and solve anxiety problems again? through... Yeah, and again, through uh, talking and debating and sometimes singing. It's very cool, and I have... Re I've recreated scenes of it in my bedroom with costumes and stuff, and I, I think, I've taken over my life quite a bit. No. Okay. Um, Ace Attorney. Yes. Yeah, so that's alongside Sandra's side right now. That's what I'm mainly fixated on right now. How I have. Find it? Um. Well, I actually found it quite specifically. January, February of 2023, that's when I really discovered it. Um, I was sort of into it then, and then it lay dormant for a long time, and it's come back with a vengeance. Um, so Sherlock Holmes as well is another fixation which has been dormant for a while, and it just periodically has spikes. That happened again. I learned in one of the Ace Attorney, ga Ace Attorney games, there's a character called Herlock Sholmes, and so I decided to watch a playthrough of that game, and... I'm still going through it. it. I have been. I have watched it. Uh, probably at least more than ten hours of it so far. Um, it's really funny, and I really like it. And every sing so, it's a video game. You play as a defense attorney, and but it's absolutely insane. Every single character's name is a pun. You cross-examine a parrot at one point. Herlock Sholmes. 
Um, Voldemort. And it also has really compelling character drama, so I really I'm like it. I'm pretty sure you've spent more than a minute on each of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't okay. think I take this Doctor back. Who. Okay, you can and have the it. new Doctor. Okay, so that has episode four. It never happened. There's only seven episodes. Mm hmm. So. Doctor Who is not particularly a fixation, but it has a, been a long-term interest that has been there the whole time, and is worth very much worth mentioning because new series. Um, it's 2023. There were the three um, 60th anniversary specials with David Tennant again, and then a Christmas special Shinji Gatwa, his his debut. And uh, a as, wasn't it? as the 15th Doctor and the introduction of Ruby Sunday as the new companion. And then there was the series. It was only eight episodes, which I'm still a bit uh, about. But there was the Disney money for the budget. And so it was looked really cool. And Russell T Davies is back. And it was so good. And I loved it. Hopefully Disney doesn't kill Doctor Who. I don't and think they will. Rather... Doctor Who will stop when the sun explodes. And here's a rather different interest that you've had this year? The 10 million. Sewing. Yes. What, what, why, and how? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't even remember when. It, it was, it was after Christmas that I, some point after Christmas that I got into sewing and I don't remember why, I just wanted to. And so I took out the sewing box and so, ha 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 ha. And so I, just learnt how to sew through YouTube and now I do it sometimes when I break things. And uh, You break things? Yes. My crimes. Ah. Okay, good. Round over. Time. All your interests explained in ten minutes. <laughs> okay, this round is on TV series. Okay, that so you watched, you watched since the last summer interview. I am actually not entirely sure whether I mentioned this in the last interview, but Good Omen season two. Yeah, well, I was gonna, I was gonna say items on the list. Oh. And then you can. Oh. Again, okay. Okay. Talk about them for a right. minute or so. Pop my Good Omen series two, season two. <laughs> okay. Well, I loved it. Um. <laughs> It was very different to the first series. It had a lot of um, flashbacks, minisodes, backstory stuff, um, very much focusing on Aziraphale oh, and Crowley. Um, there was... They... Uh, they had to play matchmaker for two humans. And then there was the final episode. I'm s it's been a year, I'm still not over it. Um, so, uh, they're in love with each other and then they kissed, but then there was, there was a fight and then it's, and then Aziraphale went to heaven and then Crowley was stuck on Earth and then the Metatron is being all weird and he's gonna start another war and he's like, oh my god. I really like Muriel as well. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Renegade Nell. Yes! Okay, so um, April, May, March? Oh, Easter! Easter, actually. We started watching Renegade Nell, which is... Um, it stars Daddy. Louisa Harlan. That's her name, isn't it? Yeah, she plays Orla in Derry Girls. And she... Well, uh, she plays Renegade Nell. She... Nell... Nell Jackson. So that's two characters she plays that share a name with me. And... Um, She's a uh, highwayman, and she and her dad dies, and so she takes her two sisters, and she gets framed for murder, and so she get she takes her two sisters and this other highwayman guy who's just sort of there, who just tags along, and they are trying to prove her innocence in the murder thing, and she's also being pursued by um, the the daughter of the guy who died who's a murder she was accused of and then she's uh, dark magic and nice magic and uh, she has a little fairy that she yes. eats and then has great fighting powers yes no 
Billy something. S silly Billy. <laughs> the completely made up adventures of Dick Turpin. That we were watching at the same time, also Highwaymen, um, stars Noel from Bake Off, as you may know him, as Dick Turpin and... Noel Fielding. Yeah, Noel Fielding, that's his name. And he uh, is a highwayman and has a gang. And it's really funny and completely made up. And also, uh, there's the it's Thief Taker General... Uh, what, what's his name? I literally just watched a bunch of extra history videos about him. Jonathan Wilde, that's his name. Yeah. He's funny in it. Don't remember who played him. Do you mean the silver guy? What? Who? Oh no, the what? the guy who had the son that he had to babysit the whole time. That was Jonathan? Yes. And then there was also the blue silver guy who was annoying. But then he okay. got his comeuppance. Okay, Python? No. Let's move on. Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf. Okay, so I actually learned about it. Two um, idiots from stuck in space so this, with a human cat. This was not on. This was not obviously released in no. 2024. <laughs> no. We... 1989, I think it was. No, I think wow, it yes. So we, um, at RCS, since we were doing our scenes and, we, and when other people were acting their scenes, we had to be the uh, camera crew for their scene and one of the people were they were doing a scene from Red Dwarf and I really liked it and so I decided hey why not check it out and I did and um, we've been watching it ever since it's really really cool as Connor said um, two idiots who hate each other um, are what well, one of them is the last surviving member of humanity the other is dead and a hologram they are stuck in a giant spaceship alone with a with a the life form that descended from a cat and the ship's computer and they get up to hijinks in space and it's uh yeah okay do we put, do we put everyone in spaces <laughs> yeah father ted father ted yes. yes we have started watching that um uh Three priests stuck on an island together because also they are all they are an all inept and, and uh, they are Irish and they um, are in the house. Um, one of them is semi normal. One of them is a Douglas, and another one is no, not Douglas. What am I talking about? Dougal. Dougal. One of them is Dougal. Douglas. To be fair, he would. He would um, mis forget his own name, to be fair. And um, the other one, who knows three words, words, um, drink, girls, and what was the other one? That would be an economic... Ecu what's the word? Economical matter? Peck. That would be an ecumenical matter. Ecumenical matter, yeah. Um... Oh yeah, drink girls and feck. Yeah. Uh, Loki, season two. Oh yeah, that was earlier on. Oh uh, yeah, September. We said that already. Um, yeah, but you mentioned this already. Uh, <sighs> okay, that's all I'll say. <laughs> Traitors, season yes. two. Yes. Oh wait, actually, quickly before that, Bake Off. That's on the list. Oh, that's okay. All right, Traitors, season two. It was really good. Um. Uh, the person who won was a traitor. It was Harry. Um, he won it was billions of pounds. Yes, because he I lied and so deceived. So the last ever episode, last ever series oh. of Anton Deck's yes. Saturday Night Takeaway. We didn't oh. know it was the last one. I mean, I it, it most de definitely probably is the last is. one. Yeah, twentieth anniversary, twentieth series, and they, uh, yeah. We've been watching it ever for. Yeah, I've been watching it since I can remember. Yeah. Bake off. Bake off. 
I remember. It's, where I, break it's off. the first series of Bake Off that we've probably sat down and watched, or the one that I've anyway. Um, I really like Bake Off. Um, I remember Nikki. She was funny. Um, I also remember Rowan because I sort of grouped them together in my head. Uh, I know that Matty, the PE teacher, won it. We learned all their names. Didn't yeah, oh, memorized all their names, which we should do this year as well. Strictly. That's not the only her sweet. Yeah, who made. won again? <laughs> Red-haired person. Um, who, who is Ellie and Vito? Ellie, Ellie, Ellie and Vito. Yeah. 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 Well, we watch that every year, haven't we? For yes, since I can remember. And also mm -hmm. the masked singer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anything to say about the mass uh, When is it on? Um, it is on over the new year. Um, and it is cool. Yeah, who won? <laughs> who won it? I remember there was an air fryer. And that's it. For that, those are the TV series. You win the We've watched in 2023-24. Okay, the movie section. Okay. Movies that we've watched on TV. I'm going to tell you what we've watched and you'll briefly describe what the movie is. Okay. Okay. Jojo Rabbit. Okay. Um <laughs> Boy likes Hitler, he learns Hitler is bad. Boy doesn't like Hitler. Young Sherlock Holmes. Oh, I watched this just the other day. Um, Sherlock Holmes is young. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Mutant Mayhem! It's really good and the animation is really good and I really liked it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fight crime. Deadpool. <laughs> um, crime man fights crime. <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> Connor didn't watch it. Um, yeah, we watched Deadpool, and um. He is, so Ryan Reynolds gets, ha, has cancer and then gets superpowers that like makes him really ugly but also that like he has super healing and so he goes to kill the people that tortured him. Four weddings and a funeral. <laughs> um, there are four weddings and then there's a funeral and it's really sad. Mind blowing. Actually that's not true. Is it not? Oh, does it not? I don't remember it very well. <laughs> Three weddings, a funeral, and then another wedding. Okay. Oh, that's the real title of the movie. I just, I just remember the funeral. That's, oh god. Okay, Life of Pi. Okay, um, boy gets stranded alone um, on a lifeboat with a 600 pound Bengal tiger and survives through God. He's religious and power. He has all three religions, doesn't he? Yeah. Life and that was incidentally your. Yeah, we watched. Yeah, we watched it because it was my uh, chosen uh, set texts for English literature, and uh, I never. I didn't read the book. <laughs> and I still got an A. Life of Brian. Okay. Um, it was good. It was good. Um, how do I describe Life of Brian? Um, he lives like Jesus at the same time as Jesus and everyone thinks he's the son of Christ but he's not. Son of Christ? No. <laughs> son of God. No. <laughs> they think he is Christ. <laughs> what? A 
Okay. Oh aliens. god. Oh yeah, and the aliens show up. Aliens show up for no reason, <laughs> and everybody ignores them. Triangle of sadness. Oh. There's a triangle of um, sadness. Um. What? Well, yeah, we watched it. I watched it. Yeah, I watched it. I, I, I haven't forgotten it. Um. Really rich models um, all get sick on a cruise and then they crash on a desert island and try to kill each other. <laughs> it's It was so weird. Micro-men. Okay, um, documentary movie about the people who invented the BBC Micro in the 80s. It has Martin Freeman in it. And, what's his name? Alexander... Some the Armstrong. pointless yeah, that guy. Nine to five. Um, three women kidnap their terrible boss and take revenge on him for being terrible, and then take over the company and make it way better. Dolly Parton kidnaps somebody. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Footloose. Um. Town hates dancing because they think it's sinful, but then the this teen guy says no, dancing is cool actually, and then they all they, they all dance. <laughs> Austin Powers, man of mystery. Austin is a weirdo. International man of mystery. Austin Powers is a weirdo and doesn't. And there's also an idiot trying to kill him with a cat with no fur. Yeah, I, I, uh, how, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, pass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, beat, pass. Man from <laughs> 60s. The man from yeah. the window. It's frozen in time and revived modern day. And. But it, but still has this 1960s culture references. Yeah, and really bad teeth. And bad teeth. Invictus. Um, South Africa Rugby World Cup. Yeah. <laughs> In 1995. With Morgan Freeman. As yeah. Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Freeman. He's an actor. Okay. Nelson Mandela. Uh, Gregory's girl. Um, yeah. Convenald. Um, Gregory, he lives in Cumbernauld, is in high school. Not depressing. <gasps> Who knew? And he likes a girl, but then he doesn't get with that girl, he gets with a different girl, who's, who is Gregory's girl. Twist to the end, eh? Spoilers. Tetris. Um, the story ha- of Tetris turned into a comedic film. How Tetris became Tetris. Um, it's a very good film. Um, with a lot, with a lot more, uh, like international politics, Cold War era politics than I thought there would be. But hey, excuse me. Chariots of Fire. Um, nineteen twenty four Paris Olympics. It was the just the twenty twenty four Paris Olympics. So, so yeah, um, and they the the guy who did the. Thing, the running. <laughs> Very comprehensive description. Yeah. Um, a Shawshank Redemption. Okay. Um, guy gets wrongfully convicted and put into prison, and, and everybody is depressed and. Suicide. It's really depressing, but then he reforms the prison from the inside. And then it gets worse again. And then he escapes. Groundhog Day. Guy goes insane. <laughs> Bill Murray becomes a god. And also self improvement. And there's a groundhog. What's, time loop. The there's, a t- there's a time loop, and there he gets stuck in the time loop for thousands oh, yeah. of years. Start and. and- Star and War, yes. Yes, yeah, your film. Go ahead. 
Die Hard? Um, Guy is stuck in giant Christmas party with terrorists. He gets blood all over his vest. <laughs> He has to. I remember the scene where he has to walk over broken glass without wearing shoes or socks, and that. Oh God. Um. Yeah. He uh, defeats the terrorists, but actually they're not terrorists. They're just thieves. Yeah. Chicken one two. Dawn of the Nuggets. <laughs> um. Uh, the sequel of the first one, and there's the child chicken who <laughs> somehow she returns and yes and she gets kidnapped by the people trying to but the make her into a chicken nugget and then she gets rescued and it's cool and apparently she has mind control over chickens yeah turns them into absolute buffoons right the last one probably the hardest to describe Dune, and hardest to say as well. Dune. Two. No, we saw that at the cinema. Oh. Well, this, this, this is the TV ones. Dune. 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 I have Dune. no Dune. idea. Dune. 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 July. There are dunes in it. Um. Space politics. Um, the, uh, Timothy Chalamet is the messiah, but he's not, but he is actually, but he isn't, but he doesn't want to be, but then he is, he chooses he to be, is, and he, he dooms is, he everyone, is. but that's actually the second film, and also the, what even happens in the first one? <laughs> something to do with spice. Yeah, something to do with deserts and water and, uh, the, the guy in the goop. <laughs> Okay, so that's, there's three more movies that we've seen okay. at the cinema. Inside Out 2. Oh, that was brilliant. Uh, I love that. What was it about? Okay, so Riley is now a teenager and she has anxiety and the anxiety is an emotion and anxiety kicks all the other emotions out and then they have to try get back and then she has an anxiety attack and learn self-improvement. I cried. Actually, no, I didn't cry, but I nearly cried. Wonka. Um, Timothy Chalamet um, invent uh, singing. <laughs> singing. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet invent singing. That's what happened in that film. Um, <laughs> and, he also, and he also invents the magical world of chocolate. Yes, he. The, Starts the chocolate factory the chocolate, with the chocolate friends. That probably isn't allowed. He starts the illegal factory. <laughs> the most unsafe place on earth. Oh, not OSHA compliant. Yes. You've seen and the that last video. one was June two. Wow. A um, second one. Uh. It all gets resolved, doesn't it? Perfectly resolved. Yeah. No need for a third film. Yeah. They all get eaten by the sandworm. We'll have to watch those two again just to actually figure out what's going on. Can't we just read the Wikipedia article? <laughs> Please. Okay. That's the end of the movie round. Yay. Now it's... Mm-hmm. And it was... Time for a game of charades. Try and get the... Uh... That's what I'm doing. We're having, having an okay. Hang on. No, first go away from me, then it's funny. But no, but I, it's just... No, it's not funny, because it's just me. Okay. Come on. Go on. Oh. The, the film. How many words? There's four words. Four. First word. <laughs> Talk. Speak. <laughs> Eat. Lip. Mouth. Sing. 
Singing. <laughs> singing. Singing. The word is singing. In the rain. <laughs> Sing. Song. Okay, the first word is song. Song. You can try and guess it now if you want. But I don't know. Song of the song of. Song of the sea. Yes. Oh. Yay. You win. Here's your class prize. The card I looked at. <laughs> I've seen that film. I watched that film this year. It's a really good film. Story time. <laughs> this one is pathetic. But I love you. <laughs> what? This one was pathetic. I was extremely pathetic. <laughs> she was so pathetic she didn't even live in a house. You know where she lived? Where? Nowhere. No. She had made she she had made nothing quite comfortable, but she was actually very uncomfortable with her life because she didn't like it. Because she was really pathetic. The trouble was, because she was so pathetic, nobody knew she existed. Nobody acknowledged her. Not even the, not even the anything around her. Not even the author of the book, apparently, because I see that's not the book you're reading. <laughs> she was crying. Do you see? Yes. Oh. One day she decided to go on an adventure. But then she died in the end. I'm not reading that whole book. No way of doing that. <laughs>